Hello everybody, today I'm back with another Studio Ghibli painting tutorial. Today we're going to paint this scene by Spirited Away and as you can see this scene is pretty complicated and very detailed and I had a lot of footage for this video so it sped a lot and I thought I would share rather general tips and painting tricks with you today while I show you the footage of all of the paintings so it's gonna be a mixture of of tips and tricks and the tutorial of course it's very sped up if you're interested in much slower tutorials then check out my painting courses and also stay tuned for the gouache course that's going to launch very soon I will announce it when it is there it's gonna be an extended course about everything that I know about gouache so let's get started with the tutorial for today so this is the scene that I'm going to paint today and I transferred it to my paper so I have the basic sketch down and I put a lot of pencil lead, this is a very soft pencil, on the back of my page you can also use transfer paper and at one point I really have to buy it because I've been doing this quite a lot and it wastes a lot of pencil but yeah this is for now what I'm doing and I taped that onto my paper I'm using Hanemüller watercolor paper and then I use a hard pencil so not the same one as before this one is not as soft um, and I push really hard and transfer that onto my page so this is gonna make my life a million times easier and this is my number one tip for this tutorial to transfer it and yes there's gonna be people who are gonna say that this is cheating and yeah so what so what if it's cheating then it is we are copying a movie scene so here we go these are the paints that I'm gonna use I have them on my two palettes the one uh, the palette on the left I found in a local store the one on the right my girlfriend handmade so uh, I don't really have a link for that and I'm also using a bunch of different paints. I'm gonna link my favorite gouache paints down below but on these palettes are a lot of different colors and you can see now that I've transferred my sketch I am starting to color it in and this is basically painting by numbers at this point because I'm looking at the reference picture I'm mixing my colors and I'm painting them where I see them. So it's when it comes to skill this part is not that hard here you can see I put a lot of paint on there and then I removed some of it again because I wanted to see my lines that I did with the pencils when I transferred it so I still want to see those details so I made sure that I don't use too much paint on it and whenever I had too much paint I removed a little bit of it so it's more see-through so in this case I didn't want the gouache to be so opaque usually sometimes we really want it to be opaque but this time um, I really wanted to see my sketch because I wanted to add those details in later on and because I was using pretty good quality paint, I really needed to make sure that I can see that sketch through. And this sketch just made it a million times easier, like I already said. I mean, you can try to recreate the scene and you will probably learn a lot from it. If you try to get all of these angles and architecture things, and at one point I really wanna try that. But for right now, I'm giving my ADHD brain a little bit of a break because this would wreck my brain I'd have to figure out where all of the angles are and there are a lot of tutorials out there where you can learn how to draw architectural things and I would just invite you to watch those if you want to learn how to do the perspectives and all of those things here I'm just talking about gouache and how to repaint your favorite movie scenes and this is the way that I'm doing this for now I'm just filling everything in I picked my colors looked at the reference and something that I've learned from recreating those movie scenes is to not pressure myself to exactly recreate it because you will sit there forever especially with this scene it's very very detailed so I didn't add every single detail I did add a lot though so this is the reason why this is so sped up because this video I think the footage was eight hours something along the lines of that so this took a while and um, 
it's basically just coloring in at this point and I'm also not pressuring myself to mix the exact same shades of colors. I used colors that I really like that are similar to the reference picture and I'm pretty happy with how the end result turned out. So those are my tips for that and just don't pressure yourself too much because it takes all of the fun out of it. I've tried in the past to completely replicate replicate studio ghibli movie scenes and didn't have a lot of fun with that because i had so much pressure and here i really wanted to let loose do it my way and enjoy the process and i really did this was very meditative especially since i already had the sketch down and just had to fill in the colors this was so fun and i can really recommend doing this and i'm so glad that i attempted this scene because originally i wanted to paint this scene but then I did a poll on Instagram and added all of my favorite scenes from Spirited Away and asked people which ones they want to see. And this one won every time. This picture won. Everyone wanted to see a tutorial for this picture. So I'm glad because now I did it and I never would have attempted it. Otherwise, I thought that no way was this gonna win the poll. But hey, it did. And uh, I had a very great time doing this, even though it took forever. But uh, I really managed to switch off my brain and uh, color everything in. And uh, something to keep in mind with gouache that's also important is that your lighter colors dry darker and your darker colors dry lighter. And I really realized that with this piece because uh, the pathway in the middle, this kind of salmon color, it should have been a little bit lighter and it dried darker. And I wasn't really considering that at that moment, even though I know a lot about gouache at this point, but I just didn't think about it at that moment. So it dried darker than I wanted to, but I decided to just let it stay like that until I was finished with the painting and then I could have uh, repainted it, made it lighter. And then when I saw the dark contrasting colors next to it, it appeared lighter again. So in the end, I'm fairly happy with the color. So when you don't like your colors, uh, you can remix them, try it again. And you can also just wait and see if you still like it uh, or if you start to like it when the piece is finished. So uh, the colors just change, change with gouache and sometimes it's really hard to estimate what they will look like when they are dry. And even I, who has been using gouache for years and who does courses about gouache, uh, I still sometimes forget about these things. So if you do, then please don't be so hard on yourself. All of this video is basically a pep talk of telling you why you should really try your painting like this too and be gentle with yourself and if you have the basic sketch down and then color everything in you already have the ground structure and you can just let go and color and you can decide how much details how many details do you want to add how much shading do you want to add the original piece had so much shading and it just didn't have the time to add it I could have gone on forever with this piece to make it look exactly like the original but I just decided that I didn't have to and I didn't want to and ended up having a great time so I hope that this motivates and inspires you to do something like that as well and if you want to attempt this scene then now you know basically how to do it I would really urge you to look at the uh, scene itself just at the uh, screen cap and just look at the colors and then replicate them not perfectly but just in the way that you want to you could also change up the colors completely but i wanted to somewhat stay to the original because i didn't want it to be a super big mess because otherwise i would have had to see if the colors that i picked match and look good together i already knew that these colors would look good together and i just reused the same teal tone over and over in the painting i used the same red tone in a bunch of places and a similar purple tone so everything looks cohesive if you 
repeat your colors in the same picture or you just change them slightly so you use the same color just mix a little bit of a different shade into it and then everything will look a little bit more cohesive if you don't have a million and one colors but the same colors repeat in the same piece so you can see on the left house we have this turquoise teal tone we have it on the right house we have it on the roof in the on a house in the middle we have the purple that's on the balcony and on the house in the middle. So all of those colors repeat and that makes it look more cohesive and not like a hot mess. And here you can see the little details. And in my gouache course, I'm going to explain to you how you can get those thin lines, maybe even thinner than I was doing here. And how to really get the right consistency with your gouache, how to mix your colors. All of those things will be in the course. And if you have any questions about gouache, let me know and I will see if they're already in the course, maybe add them. And yeah, that's all of my tips for this painting essentially. And we're already on to the finishing touches. Now I'm using some white to get in some highlights and I'm doing a little bit of line art here and there to really finish everything off and uh, make everything look cohesive and go together and really just the little details and like I said I could have gone on forever with this but at one point you just have to decide that you are finished and that you are done and then you just have to say hey this is where I'm at and now I'm removing the tape and now the painting is finished. Like I said, I had a great time with this and I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you decide to also paint this movie scene, please tag me on Instagram at the visual mind art. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the course. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.